everyone, it's Greg here, and today I've got a really great breakfast idea for you. It's a simple pita bread pizza. It's, well, you can have it for lunch or dinner or whatever, but it's specialty is breakfast. And I tell you what, super simple, super easy. Let's start cooking it. Now for this, you hardly need any ingredients really. I mean, I've just got some spinach, a couple of eggs. No bacon in this one though. It's a vegetarian one, except for the eggs and the cheese. If it wasn't for those two things, it'd be vegan. <laughs> But uh, anyway, it's not. So first thing we need to do is preheat the oven. Now we're gonna stick it on the grill or the broil. So we gotta turn that to high. And that'll get, you know under here? You know those things that are under there? These ones? Oh, gee, it's getting hot already. Ooh. So what we're gonna do is also stick, um, depending on how big your pita bread is, will depend on how big you need your tray. If you haven't got a pizza tray or small pita breads like me, then you'll need like a big sheet of aluminum foil. But I'm using this pizza tray today. So I'll chuck that in and start that warming up. I'll even shut the door. Now these are really easy. And I'm gonna make a couple of different varieties today. Some, uh, just, just a couple of different ones. Because I had some things in the fridge I wanted to use up. So. Now the pitas I'm using today are here, Grego's brand of course. Now these are small, some are bigger. Now if you had a big one, you'd need like a couple of eggs each and whatever, but I got the small one. Unfortunately, you know what it's like fellas to have the small one. But uh, so what you need to do is go through your pita breads and what I'm gonna look for is like ones that are got a nice, like this one. See that, how it's got like a hole there, it's sort of, concave in. Is that another one? Oh yeah. What I'm looking for is so when you crack the egg on there it's not going to run out everywhere. Actually I think this one might be even better. So I'll use those two for today's breakfast. Now on one of them I've got some basil pesto here. Some Grego's brand of course. I wouldn't use any other brand. So we'll sprinkle some of that on or spread it. Because I'm not sprinkling, am I? I'm spreading. Which one will I use? I'll do it on this one because this one's flatter. And I'll make a nice pesto pizza with this one. I reckon that would taste awesome. Who else thinks it tastes awesome? If you do, let me know down below. Hey Chuck, do you reckon it would taste awesome? <coughs> Whoa, he's screaming with enjoyment. Oh, <laughs> he knows how good it would taste. Okay, so what's next? Uh, cheese! That's right. Grab the cheese. Now, use some good old wholesome Grego's mozzarella. Except, I don't have mozzarella, I've got uh, cheddar. If you've got mozzarella, great. If you don't, just use cheddar. They're all the same, aren't they? Well, not really. But, we'll sprinkle the cheese on, whichever one you chose to use, over. Now, I've got some red chili flakes here. <laughs> Well, only just. How could I have let it run so low? I'm just kicking myself because I was really hoping to add heaps of chili onto this. Anyway, I can only do what I can do. So I will add some chili flakes onto the tops of these because I mean, it's chili, man. And who doesn't love the chili? You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't like chili, then <laughs> you're crazy for starters. But just don't add it. Oh, there's still plenty there. It's just not coming out of the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, now we're talking. There you go. There was enough. Actually, more than enough. Awesome. I love chili. For the one I haven't put the pesto on, I'm adding oregano. Or oh, oregano, as we call it here in Australia. And we'll just sprinkle some of that on. That'll give it a nice breakfasty taste, won't it? Not really. Give it more of a pizza taste. And next, we've got some spinach here. Now, if you don't like spinach, then you're probably amongst about five billion people on the planet. But that's okay. I can forgive you. If you don't want to be strong like Popeye, fit and healthy, just stick to candy bars. See if I care. Right, so what we're doing now is we'll create a nest that the egg will fit in nicely. Hopefully, because if it doesn't, then this recipe is going to uh, somewhere where it probably shouldn't be going. 
So that looks like a mess, doesn't it? There we go. Now, we just grab our eggs. Now, I think for this, you should probably leave them out of the fridge overnight or something. I just think if they're really cold, they might not cook as well. But don't listen to me, what would I know? So let's crack some into here. Another one into here. And hopefully your nest is nice and strong and they haven't leaked out all over the floor. <laughs> if they have, then <laughs> you've already failed before you've even started. Right, let's wash some of this goo off. Now, hopefully, we're up to Hiroshima on this uh, broiler. Come down, and let's take a look. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So, let's grab this pizza tray out. It should be nice and warm. And we'll transfer these pizzas onto it. You know what? I might even use a spatula, just so I don't disturb them too much. Oh! You know what, I, I reckon they look edible just like that. Seriously, if I was into raw eggs, which I have been, I would just eat that, as is. So nice and gently, there we go. Right, so where's my thing? So now we just need to transfer this back into the oven. You want to stick it in the middle of the oven, if not even a bit further up on the tray. So the broiler can like start hitting all those eggs. And what the object is, is to get those yeah, the yolk. The yolk? White. We want the whites white. So let's whack that in. Let that grill or broiler do its job. And we'll leave that in. It should take about six, seven minutes to do that. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? So I'll grab the old timer. Three, four, five. I'll put it on for six and come back. I'm guessing it's going to take longer. That's just my personal guess. But we'll soon find out. Anyway, we'll see you then. Uh -oh. Six minutes, let's have a look at six, see if it needs any more time. Right, tell you what, it smells awesome. Oh, what? Have a look at this, folks. Woo -wee. Oh, that's actually going hard. It's starting to burn on the ends there. Ah, Jesus, folks! <laughs> oh, quarantine. Oh, do you reckon that's ready? I reckon yeah. it is. It looks uh, pretty solid there. Oh, there's a bit of leakage underneath. Let's mm. give it another minute. Just in case, because I know you don't like the white gooey stuff. And neither do I. It'll be seven minutes by the time it's it's uh, all cooked, I'd say. Yeah. All right, well, it's been 30 seconds later. <laughs> we figured, ah, let's just bring it out and see how it turned out. And I'll tell you what, that looks pretty good, except for those burnt bits on the end. Just ignore those. Take these off the tray. Ooh, they look great. Well, at least mine does. Bernice's looks have been burning around the edges. <laughs> right, well here they are. Let's cut them into quarters. Because that's how we're going to eat them and serve them. Cut through that egg. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Beautiful goo. Oh, plus I've got half the egg on my pizza cutter. Get off there. Okay, I'll try quarters. I'll risk it. There's some nice goo there anyway. Mmm! I love the goo! So, uh, which one was which? Which one's got the pesto? Well, how about I try this one? Well, here you go. How good's that look? Mmm! -mm. If you didn't cut it up, it probably would have still looked awesome! Anyway, let's give this one a go. Mmm! Oh! Mmm! Mmm, mmm, that eggy goodness. Mmm, the plain one tastes great. I didn't put too much chili on. Oh no, I forgot something. Some parmesan. I was going to put some parmesan on. Just a sprinkle. <laughs> I knew I'd forget something. Anyway, this one's got the pesto on it. Let's try the pesto pizza. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. That subtle hint of pesto. The creaminess of that cheese. The parmesan that I forgot to put on the first one. What more do you want? Well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, remember to do all the things that you know what to do. 
I'm going to sit here and finish this off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for my next recipe. Adios amigos. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the breakfast pita pizza I made for you today. I actually had it for lunch. Yamaha.